Hey guys, welcome back to Cityscape Brewing. I'm Dennis Fields, and today we're gonna to make your life a little easier by going through step-by-step -step directions on how I built a keg and carboy cleaner. And so we all know it's a pain in the butt to clean our kegs and carboys after we get done, but it's a, something you gotta do after you pitch a keg or finish a keg off or kick a keg, uh, or after your fermentation gets done. And uh, this is an easy way to build yourself a keg and carboy cleaner. It also helps conserve some water. Uh, you only need to use a little bit for each bucket. And we'll go through those steps after I kind of break down uh, how to and what materials you'll need to build this uh, keg and carboy cleaner. But first, let's remember the number one rule in homebrewing, always enjoy a homebrew. This is Oktoberfest, just in time for Halloween. Uh, and uh, cheers. All right, to break this down, let's talk about some of the things that you're gonna need. First and foremost, you're gonna need some type of a pump. In this case, I uh, am using a sump pump, and I actually was able to get this off of Craigslist for about 20 bucks. It's about a third horsepower sub pump, and you need something that's gonna be strong enough to be able to force the water through there at a pretty good rate uh, in order to spray out of holes that you'll eventually drill in some PVC piping, but it's gotta be at a fast rate, so the pressure is there to help clean the sides of the kegs and carboy, and in this case, mine also has connections that go hook up right to your keg, and you need to be able to force that water through these lines to go through your dip tubes. And so uh, I recommend getting some type of a sub pump, in this case, this third horsepower works perfectly, um, and then after that, depending on your connection, you're just gonna need some pretty easy parts that you can buy at your homebrew supply store. And I'll list all the parts that I use down in the video description, but I'm using mostly three quarter inch PVC piping. And so um, I have a garden hose style connection, which is what is used on this particular sub pump. Then it goes to a T and it has a threaded half inch uh, that goes off of this one and to a barbed plastic end that ends up going to my tubing here. Off of this tubing, I have a barbed T intersection and then it goes to a barb on each one of these connections for the gas and the uh, outline for my keg. So I can hook that up and have it run right through. After that section, it actually goes to a T and I have two, uh, uh, or excuse me, it goes to a, a kind of a cross section and then it goes to a, two T's on either side with some brackets. This will help the keg or the carboy sit flat on the top here. I've also drilled and put, this is actually just a piece of a, a old fishing pole through here to help because my carboys are a little bit smaller necked, even though I have a glass carboys and it helps them rest on each one of these. And so you could do a, a different style PVC piping, but you're really just wanting something to sit. So uh, the keg and the carboy sits level on these. After that, um, you're just gluing these in place with rubber cement. And after that, this section here is what's the most important. This is actually the cleaning apparatus part of it. So in this case, I actually took um, and drilled small holes all over, and I didn't drill them straight in. I kind of drilled them at angles throughout all over the place, um, three or four, probably five of them on each side, but uh, in about quarters. And then on the top, on the cap, I actually drilled holes on the cap there that will spray in all different directions too. Again, so you're not just drilling straight down, you're kind of drilling at angles into the cap here. And so I wanna give you a little demonstration about how this works and how I use it next. All right, so first let's talk setup. I have a keg and a carboy. Um, this one's actually clean, but this one is actually not clean. I've just sprayed it out with the hose just to get all the nasties out of the bottom, but it really needs to be cleaned. Um, that just got done with a sour, uh, blackberry sour on it. And then I have three buckets here. And one of them is going to be for cleaner. The other one is gonna be for clean water to rinse it out after the cleaner. And the other one is going to be for sanitizer. And I usually use uh, OxyClean for a cleaner, but in this case, I actually use PBW for the, uh, uh, for the cleaner in this case, because it foams a little bit less. And that's kind of important when you're uh, spraying this thing through the cleaner uh, and the pump, and you don't want to, to foam up as much. Also, I use the kind of low foam version of the um, Star Sand. It's the purple bottle, the purple uh, liquid in there, instead of the orange yellow version of the Star Sand because that bubbles less too. You can also add a little bit of firm cap in each of your um, cleaner and your sanitizer if you're using a different product that tends to foam up a little bit. So just like in your boil, that firm cap helps dissipate the bubbles. In this case, it will work as well doing it this way. So we're gonna start by putting each of them onto the cleaner. 
Then I transfer it over to the rinse, which is just the clean water, and then we sanitize them at the end. And so I'm gonna show you a demonstration just using the water real quick and the glass carboy so you can see how the spraying action works. And then we're gonna actually hook up the keg and go through all three. All right, we got our glass carboy. We've got our uh, submersion pump inside of the bucket, inside of the water. This one is just gonna be a demonstration using water since this is already clean. Um, I do have, once you plug this in, the sub pump is actually just gonna start running. So sometimes I actually put this on a uh, surge strip and just uh, compress the button then. But in this case, I'm just gonna plug it in and show you how this thing runs. Uh, notice I don't have the, um, the ends in there and that's okay because these will stop because there's, it's not connected to a keg at this time. So it shouldn't leak out any, any water out of these so you don't need to worry about putting those in the bucket. So as you can see, it's forcing up and you've got a lot of spray action going at the top, the sides and everything else. And that's really what you're looking for. It's hitting all ends of the carboy at this time. All right, now we're gonna go through and actually clean the keg. So in this case, I've got it in my um, PVW. I'm gonna hook on my normal uh, connections, one for serving and one for gas. Make sure they're on there tight. This will help clean out the dip tubes all the way down to the bottom and from the gas line. So anything that got any gunk in it should be cleaned right out. So you'll put this thing right on top of the cleaner. Make sure, sometimes you have to finagle it around to get the connections out of the way or around those arms that we have here. And we set that up and then we just plug it in. I also throw the cap right in the bucket. That'll help clean it at the same time. And again, we're just gonna plug it in. Normally I have this on the surge strip, so I can just push a button, but we'll plug it right in. And you can see in this case, we've got the cleaner actually running in through both of the tubes. You can see the water moving all the way through. It's going into the dip tube, splashing all the way around. And uh, all that gunk is coming out. And we're gonna let this rinse for about 15, 20 minutes, sometimes 10 if it's not really that bad. And then we'll go ahead and put it in our water to rinse it and then sanitize your last. So I'll show you that next. All right, that's done cleaning. We got it hooked up to our uh, just regular water here to rinse it out. Uh, pro tip, I did put a little bit of the cleaner back in the keg and then I pushed a little bit through my beer line to uh, put some cleaner in there. And I'll do the same thing with some sanitizer in between. So um, feel free to do that. That's an easy way to clean your lines in between without taking a lot of time out of the day. I would also recommend if, if you're gonna be doing a lot of kegs at one time or a lot of cardboards at one time, is cleaning them all first, then going to rinse them all, then going to sanitize them all. That way either the cleaning water, or the clean water in the middle, doesn't get a lot of uh, suds and soap from the PBW by going back and forth for the pump in between the cleaner and the water. And that really doesn't need to rinse that long, so I just leave that in there for about, you know, about a minute, 30 seconds, and then I go ahead and I throw it in the sanitizer. And then I let that run for a couple of minutes through there, probably about five minutes, just to make sure everything's nice and cleaned out and rinsed out and full of sanitizer. And then sometimes I'll even dump the sanitizer in the keg and let it sit there um, with a little bit in there with the lid on until I have my next beer. That way I can shake it up and uh, it stays uh, nice and clean with the sanitizer in there. So. All right, same deal here. Don't forget also to keep moving your lid from one bucket to the other. So I have that in the cleaner, now it's rinsed, and then this one's going in the sanitizer as well. All right, there we got it, guys. Uh, sanitized keg, sanitized carboy, the easy way. And so once you make one of those, it's really simple. I've done about six kegs all one time uh, with carboys and it took me you know, no time at all. Just let them sit there and run while I'm doing other things. A lot of times I'll clean these as I'm uh, brewing one day. So I got all the other stuff out anyway. Uh, makes for a quick and easy job. If you don't want to make one of these things, if you just want to learn how to take all the intricate details apart of the keg, 
uh, and clean it by hand. I do have a video on that. Check that out. The link will be in the video description below, along with all the parts that I used to make uh, that keg and cardboard cleaner. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to get back with you in a timely manner. And as always, please subscribe, like, and share the videos so you get future updates. It also helps me come out with new content. And feel free to leave a, uh, a comment in the description about other videos you'd like to, to share. This, this uh, is all about teaching people tips and tricks along the way of home brewing and how to become better brewers. So with that, happy brewing and cheers.